Black lesbian writer Audre Lorde once said, caring for myself is not self-indulgence. It is self-preservation. And that is an act of political warfare. I've thought lots about Audre's work and our current movement building time, honestly. I mean, the most recent deaths of people like Ahmaud Arbery, George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and countless Black trans women like Rhea Milton, they have politicized many Americans. However, Black people have been fighting a war for our lives since my ancestors were first captured in 1619. I realize that I'm part of a generational struggle. If I'm going to maintain my commitment and live by my principles, then I have to rest. Caring for myself in a world that tells me my blackness, queerness, and womanhood is not enough is an act of political warfare, like Audre Lorde said. So to all my activists, advocates, revolutionaries, and my comrades, here's some advice on how to hold space for acts of radical self-care. My first tip is to disconnect. Poet Gil Scott Heron once said that the revolution won't be televised. I'm sure y'all have heard that before. But today it seems like the revolution might be taking place on our handheld devices. Between both social media and a 24 hour streaming news cycle. I mean, we've just been inundated with so much noise. And for me, that's why I take breaks. I put my phone down, turn off the news, I meditate, I journal, I smoke some herb. I find ways to enjoy my life that don't require a connection to the online world. One of my comrades says it best when he says, slow is smooth and smooth is fast. Let me repeat that for the people in the back. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. That means nurturing ourselves by disconnecting actually allows us to be a lot more present and efficient when we return to the world. My next piece of advice is to get away, y'all. Get away, get away, get away, change your surroundings. I understand that COVID-19 and finances can make this difficult, but honestly, staycations with your family and your friends, they work just as well. The point here is simple, and that is to get out and to see something different, to release yourself from all of that overwhelm. I really enjoyed a short trip that Bay and I took to Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. It was inexpensive and almost device-free. We're still working on that part. Ladies and gentlemen, Unray Latil. We have Unray Latil here, the captain of the Scaredy Cat team. <laughs> what will you do, Unray? Bro, there's a whole nest of wasps. Mm, she's saying that wasps are present, yet we've seen none. I've Let's heard, see. You've seen this like 15 in a Let's right see in if she will take the risk when they black, you know you don't of sitting them. here. My next piece of advice is to do what you love. I started politics and fashion because my more political comrades, quote unquote, were saying that fashion and beauty, both things that I loved, had no place in our movement. I disagreed and decided that, you know what, I could love a bomb red lipstick and I could love my people in liberation. These things are not mutually exclusive. You cannot convince me otherwise. So whether your passion is dance, music, film, or poetry, you need to make room for it. It honestly is probably the thing that's going to set you free. Here's my last tip. Say no. Since quarantine, I've gone viral on TikTok, hit almost 6,000 followers on Instagram, and I've also spoken on several panels. If you're a Black person with a public brand and you're committed to our liberation, you've probably experienced the same thing. I am grateful for every light, comment, and opportunity. Please don't get me wrong. But I'm also not always available, and that's okay. See, the same impulse that kind of makes us committed to changing the world will also keep us up until 3 a.m. answering emails, and it'll make us drain our bank accounts to give others resources that we know damn well we don't have. So while it is our duty to honor that voice in our heads, we also can't let it control us. I'm starting to learn how to decline offers to speak, especially when they are for free. Turn down collaborations that seem one-sided and also let those energy draining DMs just go unanswered. In order to protect myself, I have to say no, y'all, and I encourage you to do the same. Thank y'all for watching, and I hope these radical self-care tips have inspired you. If you want more on self-care and also some style inspiration with a twist of social justice, then make sure you are following me on Instagram. I'll see y'all across the internet, and in the meantime, let's work to get free.